Hi, Good Thing Fitness fam. I'm Yanka, your Christian fitness trainer. And today, I'm just going to talk about Proverbs, Proverbs 14, 12. Um, it says, there's a way that seems right to a man or to a person, but the end of that way is destruction. And I don't know, um, I think somebody, this, somebody's gonna, this is going to bless somebody. Um, you know, it's, it's imperative that we align ourselves with the, what the Word of God says. It's imperative, especially if you are a follower of God or a Christian. We, there's a way in the world that seems good, but you have to realize that good is the enemy of great and excellence. And great and excellence is of God. And so we have all these things in our culture that is pushed and pushed, but it's anti the word, it's anti God. You know, in the book of Proverbs, there's a lot of wisdom in this book for how to live our lives. And the thing is, you have to make a decision that if you're going to, if you are for, for God and you're going to go after him, you need to go after him with all your heart. Because this is not a time to be lukewarm or cold. You know, when you made a covenant, when we accept Christ into our lives, we, we come into covenant with him. We come into covenant with him in his kingdom. And we cannot afford to allow the world to dictate how we live our lives. You know, God has not, that's the scripture, he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We are the head and not the tail. We are above only and not beneath. We are lenders, we're not followers. As people in covenant relationship with God, that's what his promises to us. And we have to take his promises and live them out. So, I encourage you to get in the word. There's a lot of things and a lot of agendas being pushed and coming forth and they are not of God. See, I'm a bold person when it comes to the word. I'm very bold. And I, I just don't care about anybody else's opinion because God's thought and what he says is the only thing that really matters. I've made that decision. So when you see these agendas and things, you know, being pushed that, oh, you know, the LGBTQ lifestyle is okay and love is love. Guys, that's not okay. I'm just going to tell you like it is. It's not okay. Because if you go back to Genesis and it says that we are made in God's image and he created male and female in his image, that's what it is. And see, we've been taught, you know, oh, our feelings, our feelings respect this person. It's not about that. Feelings are fickle and you cannot live your life based on that. You'll be tossed to and from by every wind and wave. And that's just not how it is. So I encourage you saints to get in the book and study it and ask God to enlighten the eyes of your understanding so that you, you'll know, you know what is true and what is not true. Because I can tell you, I can look at something and I know, you know what, uh-uh, that doesn't line up with scripture. Or okay, that's, that's scripture, that's in there. You know, but the Holy Spirit that lives in you, that he, he guides you, he tells you. So you can't, you know, it's not a time to be lukewarm. Choose God and choose to walk with God wholeheartedly because lukewarmness will get you had. And that's the message for today. Have a great rest of your week, guys. I don't have a declaration, but this is the message that I need to get out. So God bless you. Have a great week. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I thought that was the end, but apparently it's not. And I need to add more to that. You know, there's an example in scripture for everything. Sodom and Gomorrah wasn't only, you know, the fall of that um, wasn't only because people were, you know, um, doing these acts and things. They were, there were laws in there that were unjust. You know, there was the murder of children, which we term abortion. That's child sacrifice. You know, all these things are going on. And see, you have to understand when you read the scripture, it's a love story. It's how God loves his people and he wants to set, he, want, he wants us to be free. And that's the whole thing of it. But this carnal nature and this world fights against that. It fights against that. But there are rules and parameters and laws and order to keep you from harming yourself 
or to keep man, mankind from harming themselves. But when we rebel against that, we open the door for all kinds of wicked and evil things. And that's not God's will for, for us. And like I said, things, they're, they're seemingly good and nice. But you have to understand. You have to be able to discern the difference. So that's all I have. Bye.